What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Brown Bagging It with Maximum Beverage. We're hitting episode 103, taking you inside the bottle to find out who's bringing value and who's not. Screw top. Like three, four years ago, screw top would have been sort of a giveaway. Nowadays, it's not really that helpful. Bright citrus on the nose, getting like a little tonic lime, like a lemon lime sprite action. What's the uh, what's the ingredient in eggnog? Is it like a nutmeg kind of thing that allspice cinnamon? It's like a, yeah, I'm getting some of that on the nose, but it's 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 to me it's like a like a creamy version. That kind of a medium acid to it, not over the top but very solid. Again, it's kind of the nose and the mouth are very similar. Uh, I really, you get a lot of, it's almost like a lemon lime kind of Sprite. It's a lot going up front, not much of a finish on this. It's got sort of a, a champagne-like yeastiness, so to speak, a breadiness. So my guess is that that means there's some sort of lees aging on this wine. I guess with that, I would say that maybe this is like French. I was originally gonna say this could be like a, eh, it just doesn't have enough of that kind of honeydew um, notes. So I'm gonna say almost like a, like a Northern France, Alsatian, White. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. It's solid. I'm not gonna say it's uh, too regionally specific. Could be like, could even be like a little muscadet thing going on in there. Not a blend though. I feel like this is single varietal. So I'm gonna say it's a Loire, Loire white. I'm gonna say price points eighteen dollars, seventeen ninety nine. Give it an eight out of ten. I'm gonna get totally hosed on this. I have, not, no con I have limited confidence in this now that I just said that. Limited confidence. How bad am I? How wrong am I? Before I reveal this. You have some things that are correct. I'm gonna, s yeah, all right, screw it. Man, this is Chablis. God. So we're France. Straight up Chablis, 2014. Well, I did not get that out of this at all. I was off. Chablis, 100% Chardonnay. It's bright, crisp. See, they're getting apple and pear. I'm not getting apple and pear out of this at all. I'm getting like straight up, like if you're drinking Sprite. That's what I was getting out of this. What's the price? $21.99. $21.99. Chablis. Is it Domaine La Roche? La Roche Chablis, 100% Chardonnay, 2014. Pretty good, eight out of 10. Very, you know, Chablis are obviously a lighter style. Um, very crisp and clean. That's what I'm getting out of this. Not my best showing. Solid wine though, it's not about me, it's about the wine. So solid wine, 2014 La Roche Chablis. Come by and see us. West Hartford and Farmington. I hope everyone is enjoying their summer. We had a nice 4th of July. Tito's Mags on sale for all you, all the Chablis and Tito's drinkers out there. Tito's Mags on sale, 27 89 this month, all month. And if you come by, see this, we were doing a, a, a taste test the other day. This little guy, Steel Dust. You know, brands love to write off the, or companies love to hop on the uh, coattails of other brands. We did a taste test. There is really, we recommend you come in, check it out. Steel Dust Vodka. It's like half the price. What? How much is this? One dollar two fifty. No, but how much do we have the boot bottles? Twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine for a mag. Yeah. So a mag's twenty four ninety nine. If you drink Tito's, maybe check it out. Come in, get a bottle of Tito's, buy a nip of this, and do a little taste. 
comparison. So Max at Tito's 2789 steel. Uh, come by and see us, West Hartford and Farmington. Cheers.